Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Ellie and I'm a student midwife and today I'm going to be showing you all the things that you need to buy before you start your course and all the things that you could possibly buy or definitely don't need. So, for starters, I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded something. It's been very busy and as you can tell I'm in a completely new room as well. My old ones got refurbished so yeah we've had to move so I've just been quite busy um, but let's start with the video so basically I have everything next to me of stuff that you're definitely going to need for starters you are definitely going to need something that you can write all your notes on and do the lectures on if it's still going to be like partially online or whatever but even so you need a laptop now I have the Acer Aspire three I want to say I think it is I'll show you the inside of it it's, it's a tad day but yeah if if you can identify it from that then oh yeah it is the Acer Aspire 3 sorry about that um I really like it it's great so if you're needing to buy a laptop I would definitely recommend this I think it was about 300 350 somewhere around that mark but um just as a little tip if you believe you're dyslexic or you are dyslexic and you do an assessment with the universities, depending on your needs, they can sometimes give you like a certain amount that you can get a laptop for. So it is something to think about because I'm no longer going to need my laptop because they're sorting me one out. So I think at the end of the day, if I'd have known that, I probably wouldn't have spent so much money on a great laptop, but um, it is what it is. So just as a little tip for you. Now, another thing that you're going to definitely need is a fob watch. I have quite a few of these. Um, I don't know if the camera's focusing on it. I don't know. But yeah, so a fob watch. Um, some people were telling me not to get the ones where it's like, you know, like watch links, like um, where they're linked. Some people told me not to do that because they're not as easy to clean. So I got a lot of these silicon ones, but actually I have some of them like linked ones and they're absolutely fine um, for my trust. But I think some trusts like don't like them or whatever but silicon's quite good to go with if you're not sure and you can get them in those different colours and stuff so so yeah there's that now another thing you're definitely going to need is loads of stationery so loads of pens rulers pencils notepads things like that and then like definitely a folder to put all your work in um I got a massive folder and then one of these like just kind of small folders but to be fair everything for first year so far as well it's near the end of the year and it's fit in here quite well and I write notes for everything so um, like it's heavy and it's bulging now but you don't need a big one I've got one literally just behind me there and I've not even put anything in it so you'll be fine with a little one I'm sure another thing you will definitely need is a knitted boob it sounds silly but you will um, you will need it especially for skills at, uh, at uni You'll be doing like breastfeeding and um, like practicing and you have to, well with our uni anyway, you had to either have a knitted boob or borrow one to show that you have the skills. But it's really handy on placement as well. When you're trying to teach your mum how to hand express or positions for breastfeeding and by having a knitted boob you're not having to like grab your own <laughs> and like show them. So yeah, that's quite handy. Another thing, it's not actually like a physical object but get in the RCM membership so registering with the Royal College of Midwives if you say you're a student midwife it's only like £1.60 a month and they provide you with um like legal cover for like up to a million pound I don't know it's something like that um it's so so worth getting and they also have loads of resources on their website that's really good for students and like uh, ebooks and things like that so I would definitely recommend it and you get these cute oh, I didn't get it out you also get like magazines from them every month um with like loads of bits and bobs in and they're quite good like loads of like articles and stuff um but yeah for one pound 60 you might as well get it uh and you do get like a bunch of freebies when you join as well so it is good some people would say you don't need it and some people say you do and some people say you might I would say you need one and that's a stethoscope. Now, I have got quite an expensive stethoscope as a present. So I've got a Lippmann. It's the Lippmann 3. It could just be called Lippmann 3. Or I don't. All I know is it's like um, an adult and a paediatric. I can't remember which way around it is. But yeah, um, 
so I got one of these just because with COVID I thought I don't really want to be touching stethoscopes that might not necessarily been cleaned and then also like you you hear so much about people getting ear infections because they're sharing stethoscopes and uh, it just didn't really I didn't fancy it so I've got a Litman now but before I went on Amazon right and I just got a basic stethoscope just to see me through um till I could afford the Litman and this is it it's like a double tube one for some reason um but it does the job and it came with um a blood pressure cuff as well and it was on Amazon for like 20 quid I think and one of the first things we did at uni as a practical exam was blood pressures so it's a skill that you're really going to need to master quite early on and you don't get an awful lot of chance at first to practice it in placement sometimes depending on what area you're in so if you're with like some friends at halls or you've got your parents at home just try it out and it just means you can do it from home if you get all of these um so yeah 20 pound off amazon i would say get them because at least you know you've got your own and the thing is with the litman is i don't know if you can see yeah um at the edge there i've i've got my name on it so i know no one can steal it so yeah because you don't want to spend all that money on something and these are so light oh my god it's amazing but yeah sorry so yeah i would say stethoscope now this is another thing that isn't necessary but it's something you can have as a keepsake for like the rest of your life and it's something that will motivate you so much um throughout the course and it's a birth counter now some are more expensive than others i did get quite a pricey one again this was a present so if your birthday is coming up like you might as well have a look um but yeah this is a birth counter and what you do is these little feet um you'll like colour them in well you can buy them as pink and blue but I was a cheapo so I thought you know what I'll buy them as like the base colour and just colour them um but basically depending on if you deliver a boy or a girl you'll put um, it through like the little foothole and you can just count it because you need 40 births well 40 deliveries um, throughout the course so you can just keep track and write a little note on the foot to say like how much they weighed or something um so yeah birth counter and it says student midwife uh kingston university the course time and um my name i think i got this from lovely crafty gems all of this stuff that i can find a link for i will put a link in the description um so yeah just have a look and they do loads of different kinds of birth counters and like i say some are cheaper than others so um yeah just have a look but it is a nice keepsake and you can make your own as well so just depends how bothered you are <laughs> i couldn't be bothered another thing that i would say are milestone cards again it's not necessary but you can just literally keep track of everything you've done so far. If you're feeling a bit low one day thinking, oh, I don't know if this is for me, you can look at all the uh, milestones you've achieved and just think, wow, actually, like, yeah, I've come so far. So I have my milestone cards from um, Beyond B. It's a charity. Again, I'll put the description, at the link in the description. They have 70 cards in here and they all vary from I've started university to explain the benefits of skin to skin to then literally things like witnessing my first breech birth like there's so much in here came for a bereaved family like so much um so yeah i would really recommend getting them and then while you're in placement you need a little notebook i have an animal one that's 3d it's so cute um but just literally a notebook that's no bigger than like the size of your hand sort of thing that you can just fit into your pocket because you just need it for jotting things down honestly it's so helpful um so yeah little notebook black pens you need black pens don't get blue get black and get loads because they go they go walkies i think i must have a hole in my pocket because honestly i i have to get a new pen every day <laughs> then another thing is a water bottle for placement i've actually got this one it says ellie student midwife although some of the letters have come off um i got this from i will find it it was somewhere on etsy um 
and it did have a little ribbon thing around it but then I thought well for infection control like I'll take that off but um it was so cute it wasn't too expensive but I just thought like oh it's quite nice but yeah water bottle for placement is really really good now we're kind of delving into the stuff that if you want it get it but if not like don't worry um a pinard a pinard stethoscope so I'm not gonna lie the first time I used this was the other day and we are currently in May and we're supposed to use them and you need to know how to use them but um, I've just not really had the opportunity yet but I got this off Amazon for literally like a couple of quid but I'm not gonna lie um, my midwife told me that the metal ones are a bit better so I might invest in a metal one but um, some hospitals well most hospitals should have them so you could potentially use theirs but with it only being a couple of quid I got this um, but yeah, you might not use it much, but it's just one of the things. Now, this is another thing that you'll hear loads of people say, whether to get textbooks or not. I am the kind of person where I learn better when reading through, like, paper stuff. That's why I write all of my notes down in that big folder, because I can't revise it otherwise. However, I brought this Anatomy and Physiology book, and I've not looked in it once. It's literally brand new. And I was thinking, like, I'm going to be one of the people that definitely needs it. But most of your content is going to be on your lectures anyway. So when you do have to look up extra stuff, your uni will have that ebook most likely. So, yeah, I would say don't get one. It's they're so expensive. The, I think this was about £30 and that's like the starting price for most of them. So... If you're really wanting to get one, there is a group on Facebook. I think it's Midwifery Sales UK. I think it's something like that. They're really good because people give out this, um, like books that they don't need. Um, that are either used or they've not even touched. And they sell them for a bit cheaper. So if you really want to get a book, I'd recommend that Facebook group. The first thing I would say was de would be definitely start the course. If you think you need a book, then buy one. But don't buy them beforehand because yeah they're expensive another thing there are so many like um fictional and non-fictional like books out there uh, based on midwifery i got this one uh, tales of a midwife by maria anderson it is such a good book i love it um and it was something i read before i started the course and i've also got the secret midwife and give birth like a feminist up on my shelf I've not read those yet but all I would say is before you start the course these are really good little things to buy to get an idea of midwifery and um, hear what actual midwives have been through and stuff like that um like I said really recommend this one but the only thing is it's when you start the course you will literally have no time to read them <laughs> I'm not even joking I've not picked this up since and that's why those books up there haven't been read yet but if you want to buy some books like that um, there are a few out there that are quite nice to read now some places do midwifery student planners and like reflective journals and stuff like that this one was it's a really good planner if you use planners um and it's got so much in like honestly it is amazing but it was so expensive and I'm not gonna lie I haven't used it because I find that my phone calendar is so much better because I can just literally wherever I am see where I am, what I'm doing, what time. Whereas if you've got to carry a heavy plan around everywhere you go, it's just unnecessary. So I would say if you want a planner, um, where did, uh, plan our designs, plan our designs. This is where I got it from. And this is where I got the reflective book from as well. They are really good. So you can definitely have a look, but from my perspective, I didn't, I've not really used them so it's up to you. When you uh, start your course you'll have a book that you keep track of all your placement records in and things like that. Um, some place, some units call it a pad and ours is called a mora and basically it's got to be your baby for the course like you can't lose it you can't damage it so when I'm on placement I keep it in this like folder that's waterproof and it's like got a zip I got it from WH Smith. It wasn't expensive and honestly it's actually saved my book's life. So they're so important so I would just say it's worth getting something like this. It's a silly little thing but honestly like and I'm a lot of this stuff I'm not saying like 
get everything before you start because at the end of the day some stuff like this it's quite boring like it's just practical things for when you start you'll need um oh also one thing you'll definitely need is placement shoes so i've got the clarks on loot and they are about 60 pounds i'm not gonna lie they're so upsetting and they're so ugly <laughs> but they are so comfortable they feel like you're walking on air i'm not even gonna lie and you know when you're doing 12 and a half hour shift you need something comfortable and these are really good because they're wipeable and they they cover your feet and they've not got laces so honestly like every single trust pretty much will accept these whereas some people like to get um i know sketches do some that are quite popular but the only thing is, is a lot of them aren't like wipeable or a lot of them have laces and some trusts are a bit iffy with that. So always do your research before or get these um, because you don't want to buy expensive shoes and not be able to actually wear them. There's one more thing. You need a bag for placement and also a bag for uni. Now, before I had a Kath Kidston bag, you might have seen my video on it of like what to put in a placement bag. So you, I had that before for placement and this bag from Nordis for uni. And I've recently started to use this for placement as well because I've realized it's a lot more practical. I would really recommend this bag. Again, it is expensive. This was about 70 pounds. And I know you're probably sitting there going, what? But it's it is very good there's like loads of different compartments um and you've also got like a usb port there so you can charge your phone like if you put um a power bank inside and it's got like a cable in there to link it up here so you can charge your phone like from that um it's got a little pocket bit to hold your drink i have my hand sanitizer thing there it's really comfy it's all like really padded um got this handle so yeah i would really recommend that bag but again you could literally buy a bag off amazon for like 20 quid but i would definitely say a backpack is probably better than a shoulder bag um just because all of this stuff can get quite heavy bearing in mind you're also probably gonna have to get changed at placement and get a bag that'll fit like your clothes in i'm not gonna lie i do have this bag um, literally just like a one pound one from the shop that you get like you're shopping in um, I ended up putting like my clothes in here that's why it's got like carrier bags in because I take this as well as my backpack because everything would fit in other than my shoes so um, I just put everything like accessory wise and stethoscope and things like that and my lunch in my backpack and then have all my clothes in here to get changed into it just makes life easier it's annoying having two bags but it is what it is yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you found it useful so like i said i will put the links into the description and um, for all the stuff i can find there might be things i'm struggling to find the links for um but yeah so if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button put in the comments any questions you have or anything you want to ask about any of the stuff i've um got out for you today and please hit that subscribe button to see more content of mine and also follow my Instagram account Ellie's Journey to Midwifery as I have loads of regular updates on there and loads more content. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.